Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the cringiest vlog of all time, episode number four. Four. Yeah, it's four. As you can see here, I am not in my backyard this time. Um, I apologize a little bit, uh, seeing as most all of my uh, vlog videos so far have been me like doing yard work and stuff. Uh, but it's summertime, and uh, that's just kind of the time of year it is, and most of the time the stuff that I'm doing day to day is not very interesting, so yeah. Don't worry, I do plan to make some tech related videos while I'm here. I have uh, just recently purchased myself some lavalier microphones because I just wanted to have a little more flexibility. I'm very bendy. Uh, when, when I'm shooting outside or in places other than in my office. And uh, so I picked up this uh, Power DeWise lavalier microphone as well as the Rode SmartLav Plus. These are two of the most popular lav mics on Amazon. Um, and they're ones that you can just plug straight into your smartphone and use your smartphone as the recording device. Um, they're a whole lot cheaper than, than like standalone lav mic sets, you know, or wireless mic sets. Uh, so I figured I would give them a try and I uh, thought for a video, if I'm going to do like a review, it would be good to have a comparison. The Rode, well, let's see if I can get it. Oh, struggling. The, the Rode mic, um, normally, well, supposedly. Supposedly. Did they go to the zoo? Supposedly. <laughs> Well, supposedly, it's normally $90 on Amazon. Good Lord, that's a lot of money! I picked it up for $60, and uh, the Power DeWise is only like $22, $23. These two mics had, uh, I forget how many reviews. Uh, the Power DeWise has a lot of reviews, and it's uh, four stars overall. The Smart Lab Plus is also four stars overall. Uh, so I wanted to compare these. I wanted to see if there's a big difference between this... $90, well now $60 mic, and a $20 mic. So hopefully that'll be an interesting video uh, and helpful to some people. Right now my family and I are on vacation down in lovely Salt Lake City, Utah, visiting my wife's family. And they have a few little things that they need some help with. Uh, I need help. I, I've mentioned it before, but I don't know how many people no, but uh, I work in construction. I've grown up in the construction industry my entire life. My father... Fasha! His what? His Fasha, Dr. Evil. Fasha! His dad! Dad is Fasha. Oh, his dad! Oh, his father! My father owns his own uh, construction company, um, so I've done lots of that kind of stuff all my life. My in-laws need a little help. Um, the uh, stairs here are uh, in need of a little bit of repair. Um, and uh, then they also want me to help, ooh, I'm almost tripping over stuff here. <clears throat> they want me to build a pergola over their deck here. Um, I have never built a pergola before. And um, I mean, I've done uh, some framing and a lot of other stuff in the past, you know, tile work and uh, drywall and roofing and, you know, pretty much every aspect of construction, I've dabbled in it a little bit. I got enough experience to know how to get myself into trouble. Uh, so that looks like that's what I'm going to be doing here today, is I'm going to be uh, fixing the steps on their, uh, their deck here, and then I'm going to be probably getting myself into some trouble building a pergola. And I thought maybe it'd be interesting uh, <laughs> material for a vlog. So I've got uh, all of my, my tools and some uh, material here for fixing the uh, the steps on the deck. I, it looks like I have a lot more decking than what I need, but we also need to fix uh, this spot here, these pieces. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, this is like some older Trex decking, and it is just deteriorating from, uh, I think it's mostly like from snow sitting on it, and then, the, you know, the melting and then it seeps into the treks and then it refreezes and it just pop, 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 pops it apart. Kind of like what can happen with your concrete. Same kind of idea. But anyway, time for me to shut up and get to work. Not sure 
sure I have enough screws for this. Might need to get a few more. All right, the uh, steps are finished. And so is this piece here. I know what you're thinking. Wow. Wow, that new decking matches the old decking perfectly. Yeah, well, you know, the uh, Home Depot uh, doesn't really have this color, although I think this color is pretty sun faded. It used to be closer to this color. Um, but uh, yeah, they don't really make this stuff anymore. So this is uh, what I got. My wife's parents are happy with it. They like it. And uh, who knows, maybe one day they'll replace all the decking um, with the same stuff. But uh, they like it. They're happy with it. And now it's time for me to uh, take a break. I uh, was thinking about, uh, you know, starting work on the uh, pergola here today. However, I don't think I'm going to do that now. It's getting really hot and uh, my back hurts a lot. I'm not used to doing this kind of work all the time, but uh, I think I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. Um, so until then. Hey, good morning. Um, it's been about three days since I last recorded anything. As you can see behind me, uh, we've got a little bit of progress made on the pergola. I was initially thinking I would uh, film like more of the process, but uh, you know, I just kind of got busy doing stuff and just didn't do it. But uh, here's where we're at right now. Uh, I've got uh, some posts up in the back. I got some posts out here on the front. Uh, we got a ledger board thing uh, across the back here. So today I need to figure out exactly how I'm gonna put this up here so it's nice and level. These posts here in the front are about four inches shorter than the ones in the back. Well, the posts are the same length. It's just that the concrete slopes about four inches from the house out to here. So I need to uh, figure out exactly how I'm gonna make it, uh, ooh. I need to figure out exactly how I'm gonna make it uh, like pretty even. So I am going to try to get the pergola all finished today. Uh, it's probably going to be an all-day project. Um, I've still got a lot of uh, wood left to stain and uh, then a lot of wood to actually put up. You want fast or you want good? We know Rush. You know Rush Michelangelo? You know Rush Leonardo? You know Rush Finucci. So like I usually do, I need to shut up and get to work and put my hat on. Since last checking in, it has been about a week, and as you can see, the pergola is completed. Like I mentioned earlier on, my family and I are currently down in Utah visiting my wife's family. For like the last four days, we were uh, camping for like a little family reunion, and then we uh, just got back yesterday, and uh, we finished off the pergola because we didn't quite get all of the, the two by twos 
in place before we left. But uh, I didn't bust out the camera at all because I had my father-in-law and brother-in-law helping me and uh, I kind of want to respect their privacy and not get them on camera and that kind of stuff. But the project is completed now. I'm excited to have it done and uh, I can't believe that it turned out as good as it did uh, for a guy who uh, has never built one before. Uh, there is definitely some uh, mistakes that I know about. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, for the most part now, uh, it's finished. Uh, there's a few little touch-up things I want to take care of, but overall, I am happy with it. My father-in-law and mother-in-law are very happy with it. They love it and are excited to start using it. Well, I no longer have anything interesting to show you guys. No more work to do. It's time to just uh, hang out and relax uh, for a couple of days before we go home. Since I've got nothing really to show you after this, I guess it's time for me to sign out. Alrighty, we'll catch you guys later.